Okay then, YouTube. It's time for physics fun. I'm doing a little practical here, a little demonstration on lithogy figures. It's uh, Wednesday, the fifteenth of March, so we're almost getting to Easter. So this is a nice little treat for you. So what have I got here? I've got a circle plotted on the screen. You're thinking, well, hold on, what's all that about? Well, I've taken this signal generator that has a frequency because I'm changing it at the moment: forty-seven hertz, fifty hertz. And I'm plotting my signal on one channel against another channel, which is mains AC electricity. And if you notice, I can change my potential difference. Oh, it goes pancakey sort of a shape. Well, interestingly, try and get a bit of a circle going. Um, roughly, my input signals are the same. But if I change my frequency ever so slightly, let's see what I can do. If I'm really clever, I can get it to stop. So hold on, gone a bit far, let's see. If I get a circle, that's pretty much a circle. Although it says 48.1 hertz, technically it's the same frequency. But what a circle means is that my two signals are 90 degrees out of phase, just plots the circle. If it goes more oval shaped, that's when it's 45 degrees out of phase. And if I'm really clever, I could get it to be a line. Let's see, hold on. Not that way, but this way. Hold on, here we go, almost there. When I get a straight line that's in the that forwards line, that tells me that they're absolutely in phase. So that's when all the ups and downs are the same. So listed you figures a really cool way of checking if you're in phase or not with a uh, signal or two signals. Um, what I could also do, let's go up to 100 hertz. So I'm going to have a one to two ratio of the frequencies. You see as I go up, you get lots of nice cool shapes. What am I getting now? Well, one one is 100 hertz or thereabouts. Let's move it around a bit. We're kind of getting a figure of eight. Now if I'm clever, I can get it, I'm going to dial it in now, it's a bit fiddly. Can I get it to stop, maybe? Nope, we're going the wrong way. Let's go down a bit. Remember, of course, although this says 99.4, we don't actually know that. So I can get, if I'm dead clever, I can get like a U shape. And that would be when it's 90 degrees out of phase. But if it's a figure eight, it's zero degrees out of phase. So hold on, have we gone too far? No, nope. I don't know. Let's see. Ah, figure of eight. And then actually that point. Oh, almost. Nope, I lost it. It's gone. That would have been 90 degrees. So I can keep playing with these ratios. Figure of eight. There we are perfectly. They're in phase. And just slightly over, just there, that would be my one to two. Now I could go a little bit further. Let's go 100. Oh, we can't go any further. We'll have to go up upper level. If I can get 150, let's see what I get for that one. So it's really easy to have a bit of fun with these. There we go. So I was back to 100. Let's try 150, see what it looks like. Even more cool. Ooh. So then we go into really cool, exciting shapes. And what I can do as well, if I show you, let's just try and get it stationary. If I change my signal this way, I can change my shape. And if I change my input this way, I change it the other way. So I want to try and get, really, I can get a balance to get... A lovely figure there. What have we got there? Ooh. So there you go. List of G figures on a Wednesday afternoon. Time for more physics fun, clearly.